Um, but if the, the wand's in there, and especially if I'm gentle about it, Still too many big bubbles. What you want to end up with, if you're really lucky, is a cup of just the microfoam. So it's it's liquidy, but not as liquidy as um, raw milk, right? Like you can see it, it resists flowing a little more than raw milk does, but it doesn't look like it's got gigantic bubbles in it. Pour that into the coffee, you get the sugar, you get the, the milky, fatty mm -hmm. deliciousness. Um, but you don't have to burrow through. So again, what not to do? It's you don't want the screaming. You don't. That that was too screaming, uh -huh. right? Um, you want enough milk in there that you can submerse the, the steam head um, mm -hmm. without it bottoming out at the bottom of the cup because it'll just create a steam pocket there, and that's where a lot of the screaming comes from. Okay. And you want to ride below the surface of the milk. Mm -hmm. It's okay for it to chirp occasionally. That's a sign that like you haven't gone too deep, okay. um, but not so far down that you just create a steam pocket at the bottom of the screen. Um, if you look at like pros who do it, they will talk about two phases, that there's a, a steaming phase where you're getting a lot of the air into the milk, and then there's, they call it like the roll or the flush or something, where you put the steam wand a little deeper in, so that now the, the milk is rolling over on itself, popping the large bubbles, integrating the small bubbles and stuff like that. I am not able to tell the difference between those two stages. But that is what they will tell you to do. And then, yeah, clean it off and also eject out the milk that's inside the skin. Okay. Thank you. Some pretty good milk. Thanks.